to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful Engineer 2 Diver with the Rainbow Tritium. This watch is just simply stunning. This is available right now for the price of $24.99 at azfinetime.com. It's in stock now. They also have the blue colorway with the bracelet. But... I chose to look at this one because this one is is just a really nice tool watch. Ball makes some extremely high quality watches, and I enjoy uh, looking at this brand because it is a brand that punches above its weight. Now, let's just start from the top to the bottom on this one. You get a flat sapphire crystal with a magnifier that magnifies the date two and a half times over there at three o'clock that has a white date wheel with black printing now if it looks like the indices are oddly colored they are because they are applied indices and this is rainbow tritium colors so at nighttime when you see the night shot you're going to get all different colors and it is an amazing night shot um this watch is set up like an old compressor style uh diver with two crowns this one is a screw down crown this one is a push in crown that is a special way to operate it so that um you can operate the bezel as you can see it just turns freely backwards and forwards but to operate this crown what you have to do is you need to push this crown in and hold it then turn it forward and backwards or backwards bi-directional and you can move the crown to the desired position and you don't have to worry about um bumping the bezel because the bezel is internal i think that's a wonderful system you don't need to worry about screwing that down um it, it, it's just fine and while doing that as you can see it still has 300 meters of water resistance in addition to that as you can see above the six o'clock indice, it says 1,000 gauss. Okay, that is approximately 80,000 AMs. And this is as anti-magnetic as a Rolex male gauss. The same exact anti-magnetism -magnet rating. Now, it has a solid back. And underneath this cover, um, you have a ball 11,000 series, 1100 series movement. But that is an ETA movement. Uh, tuned up by ball but before you get to that you have a faraday cage an anti-magnetic cage on this one um, made of what they call moo metal look that one up moo metal i'll put all the specs of this up in the description also if you want to check out um you know those specs more uh closely now you have a second hand with a ball railroad counterbalance on there as you can see that also has a yellow tipped with a tritium vial behind that. So you can see that um, all the time. It's always visible. The hands are sword style hands with a skeletonized end with also tritium tubes in the hands. And you'll be able to see that all the time also. And the inner bezel is also fully loomed with tritium. So this watch does have that. Christmas tree effect honestly when you see it at night and it's just a beautiful thing so underneath the anti-reflective sapphire uh, crystal as you can see the dial is a couple different levels you get the level for the bezel the dial sits up a little higher than the um than the seconds track that's going around so you it's a real nice three-dimensional dial on this one I have to say, one of the most beautiful um, watches uh, put together, that dial. I, I really like that. You have a really tall conical bezel on this one, so it's really steep, and that is to make room for that bezel, uh, that inner bezel. Um, brushed slab-sided um, side, which, you know, with a slight curve, really nice brushing on, um, I mean, polishing on here. Brushed lugs. And um, then you get two signed crowns with the uh, railroad logo. 
Now, this is a Falconized rubber strap with a heavy duty pin buckle signed with the ball logo. And then inside, you get um, a, a ruler. So you can use that too. That's, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that one before. Now, I'll do some quick measurements of this and then show you the light show and try it on. 42 millimeter case. The thickness on this one is going to be 13.7, just under 14. And then the lug lug is going to be about a 51. So this watch is going to fit great if you have a wrist um, anywhere um, above 6 inches. Now, this has a lug spacing of 21 millimeters. And that strap does taper down to about 18 and a half. Now I'll try this on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. So you can see what it looks like. Okay. And I have to tell you, it looks good. That's what it looks like on my wrist. I like this one. I might have to add one of these to my collection. It's, it's it's really sharp, to be honest with you. I was looking for something in addition in my collection. Um, and the State of the Collection video will be coming up soon, probably this weekend. Um, another thing about this watch, this pin buckle, you see how it's hollowed out inside. So when the strap goes in there, it sits flush. You see that? That strap fits, fits flush in there. That, 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 that's real nice how that fits. I really like that. So let's light this up. Now, this is tritium. So this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you can see the rainbow tubes coming through, but I'm going to help it out a little bit with the aid of a black light. And that's what you get. You get all these rainbow colors, kind of like... Um, uh, like cereal like fruity pebbles or something i really like it it's really really nice and that's your full night shot and once your eyes adjust there's nothing that is going to look as good as this as far as loom and you will get that all night and you will get that for about 25 years you do not have to worry about this one fading period so this is the Ball Engineer 2 Diver. I'll put all the specs up in the description. It's available now at azfinetime.com. My name is Big E. God bless. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.